Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Mavis and I'm a Malaysian currently living in the UK. And in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about what not to pack when you're coming to the UK. And I've seen quite a few people, and myself included, has been making some of these mistakes. So here it goes. First thing that you would not need to bring to the UK would be a rice cooker. For example, some of the kitchen appliances and the kitchen utensils um, you wouldn't need to bring because um, as shown over here, you can see that it is quite easy to find rice cookers and pots and pans at a really cheap price. If you don't mind using secondhand stuff, the rice cooker can actually be easily obtained. Um, there are a few places that you can look for them. I believe that some universities, they might have their own Facebook groups where the seniors will be selling some of their old items such as rice cookers, pots and pans. Um, so you can always get them and they will always be at a much cheaper price. Um, you can also go on to Facebook Marketplace um, and you can find really really good and sometimes brand new rice cookers um, on there at a really good price. There's no need to bring that rice cooker all the way from Malaysia because uh, you can get them here. Yes, I know, Uncle Roger really has been going on about rice cooker and how good it is. Because in the UK, you still can get rice cookers. Now the next thing that you don't have to bring all the way from Malaysia will be pots and pans. Again, as how you found your uh, rice cooker, as I previously mentioned, you can also find pots and pans um, on Facebook Marketplace or on the Facebook groups of your universities where the seniors will be selling them. And to be fair, this is how I managed to get all my pots and pans when I was in university. It was all it was usually hand-me-downs and because they are usually used for only about a year, the condition is still quite good. You can either buy them for yourself or if you are with a friend, you can share the cost together with your friend. You can also find kettles. Usually uh, Usually the student accommodation would provide kettles, but if you do need one for yourself, you can look for them on the secondhand market because there is technically there is really no need to get brand new ones. Um, it will also help to save the earth. The next thing I would advise not to bring over from Malaysia to the UK will be your pillows or a blanket because you can get them over here. There's no need to overpack in your luggage and because they take a lot of space. Unless you need your bantal buso, I would suggest you not to bring because you can find really cheap and good quality pillows over here. Um, and usually students, when they first arrive, they will, usually, they will usually shop in a place called Primark. And if you've heard from all your seniors, you you would know that Primark will be the place to go on the first day or the first week itself when you arrive because Primark will usually sell all these items at a really really good price. This item that I would advise you not to bring over from Malaysia will be items like cottons or the earbuds um, because they are easily found over here. There's a lot of shops that sell them and when they do sell them it will not be expensive. You can usually get um, for a pound a really big big pack of cottons so if you do need them there's no need for you to bring it over because it takes up so much space in your luggage and you would want to save the space for something that you really really need the next item will be books now with books um, I know there'll be certain I know that you would have your favorites but trust me the books over here will be much cheaper and if you and you think that you can't afford to buy a new book, there's always the library. It's, there will always be your university library or the public library in your area. Um, so there'll be tons of books that you can you know borrow for free. And then just a reminder to make sure that you return them on time. If not, you will get fined. But you know you don't have to carry those heavy books all around. And this includes books that you might think that will be helpful for your they'll be helpful for your subjects. Um, I believe that your university will be well equipped with all these books and even if you can't find them, there will usually be um, there will usually be online versions. So 
So that's another item that you wouldn't need to bring over. The item that I can think of not to bring over to, from the UK will be your iron. Uh, I am not too sure about you guys, but I believe if you guys are staying in your student accommodation, you should have a washer and a dryer. So, and when you use the dryer, it sort of like irons out your clothes for you. Just make sure that you take them out in time. Like, um, a, one, one tip for you guys is when you take out your clothing from the dryer, make sure that you take them immediately when it, when the machine stops, because then, um, if you were to hang them up straight away or if you were to fold them, it's sort of like, it's sort of like the ironing has been done for you. Clothing will not have any creases. So just make sure that if you, you do them immediately right after the dryer stops. Because if you do leave them, um, if you do leave them to cool down and when they're all in that ball, one ball state, um, it would definitely leave, it would definitely be difficult and you would, it would definitely be difficult because all the creases will stay. If you're coming to the UK for the first time and you're looking for some appliances um, and you can't bring them all the way from Malaysia to the UK, I would suggest for you to look at the secondhand market as this not only helps to um, helps the environment, it also helps your pocket because most of the things are not only in good condition most of the time, but if you're lucky, you can get them brand new at half the price. If you've got any other suggestions on what other things that you shouldn't bring from Malaysia to the UK, um, just leave them in the comments down below. And if you think this video is helpful, just click like and share so that all your friends and anyone who's coming to the UK for the first time, they would know what to do. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!